Well, good evening. I want to thank you all and, and everyone with the Naval Order for this really wonderful recognition. I'm sorry I can't be with you tonight, but I just wanted to send along this message to let you know how much it means to me. I also want to thank you for all the work that you are doing in preserving and celebrating the history and the camaraderie we all share. While the military service has been a long tradition in the McRaven family, I was the first, and so far I'm still the only member of our clan, to serve in the Navy. From a young age, I was drawn to the sea, but I was also captivated by the stories of heroes like Admiral Chester Nimitz, the man who commanded in the wake of Pearl Harbor and led America to victory in the Pacific. I've always been proud that, like me, Admiral Nimitz hailed from Texas. And when I retired from the Navy and I pondered what to do next, I was reminded that the Admiral had a second career in higher education, albeit in California. While I followed in his footsteps to some degree, I never expected to have my name associated with a man of such extraordinary historical significance. I'm really honored, really beyond words, but I'm also reminded of the words Admiral Nimitz said a long time ago, which have always rung true with me. He said, leadership consists of picking good men and helping them do their best. For 37 years, that's what I tried to do, help the phenomenal men and women I served alongside to do their best. And as I gratefully accept this award, I do so first and foremost on their behalf. Any credit or accolades I've received over the years are really a tribute to them. So again, let me thank you on their behalf and on my own. And thanks for all the work you do, reminding us all that we are part of something very, very special. Have a terrific night, and thank you again.